Good evening, I'm Angie Bevan and for Kevin Christopher and I'm Nancy Cox. Thank you for joining us at five. The game was a nail biter in serious jeopardy with minutes to go, but turned out to be an instant classic and quarterback. Lynn Bowden came up huge in the Belk Bowl, leading Kentucky to a last minute victory despite a huge flare up before kickoff. Keith Farmer and Claire Crouch join us live from Charlotte with our True Blue Bowl coverage. Hey guys, that's right. Welcome into True Blue Charlotte and it is official. It is truly yep. blue. I cannot believe it. I'm still not over the game. <laughs> I'm still not over those 19 seconds. Probably the most exciting 19 seconds in my life that I can think of. <laughs> well, you know, this was just a wild one all the way around that started with the moments before they even yeah. started a football game mm -hmm. and things flared up kind of as it has all week between these two teams. It's kind of a weird bowl game because in a lot of ways, most bowl games, they go against each other. And and have some fun and right. some competitions and things like that get to know each other this one it was like they were passing here and there and they were kind of jawing at each other yeah. well it carried over to the field before the game possible fisticuffs beforehand mm -hmm. a little bit but then once we got into the game this was a great college game nancy said an instant classic yeah. in this one because no team led by more than 10 points mm -hmm. kentucky just kept coming back and coming back and lynn bowden 233 yards on the ground mm -hmm. And just when you thought he was going to, to not be able to bring this team back, he goes on an eight minute, 10 second drive. And here is the final play. He didn't win it with his legs. He won it with his arm as Lynn Bowden was able to pass it to the end zone to Josh Ali for the 13 yard touchdown. Just an amazing play from him. And after that, well, it, the celebration wasn't on yet because they still had to stop Virginia Tech. They did just that. Stopped them on with four seconds left. They were going on that last Hail Mary play, throwing it back and forth, back and forth. Fumble and Jordan Wright runs it back for a touchdown. And then after that, the celebration was really on as they got to hoist the Belk Bowl trophy. Lynn Bowden, no doubt the MVP of this one. And Mark Stoops, happy to have him on his team. That doesn't surprise me. You know, really, just nothing he does surprises me. Um, you know, it just, uh, you know, every, everything he does, he competes, uh, he cares about his teammates, and, uh, you know, you can't ever count him off. And, uh, you know, just so proud of him and how far he's come. You know, and Coach mentioned uh, how much he cares about the other people. Mm -hmm. He was asked about being in the record books with players like Cam Newton, Johnny Manziel, and, and he said, uh, who are those again? And, and they said it and he goes, see, so that's my line. They should have gotten that award earlier this year, the Joe Moore Award, because it's my line that helped me do this. Mm -hmm. and, and so it's him caring for this team. Eight and five record that Kentucky finishes with. The seniors, 18 wins in the last two years and back-to-back -back bowl wins. Citrus Bowl, Belt Bowl. Oh my gosh. I just, like I said, I still don't think it has fully sunk in yet. It's just a storybook ending yeah. for Lynn Bowden, those seniors. It couldn't have happened in more dramatic fashion. That touchdown pass. <laughs> I know. What? I know. I know. It was just wild. True Blue fans could not ask for a better ending to 2019.